Under financial literacy, there are three branches we will go over. First is investing. There are four different types of investing that you can invest in. First is stock market, next is bonds, ETFs, and real estate. The most risky business would be considered stock market. You want to buy low and sell high, but that's a good thing to invest in while you're younger, and then while you grow older, invest in a bond. Next we have paying mortgages. A mortgage loan is used by either purchasers of real estate property to raise funds to buy real estate or alternatively by existing property owners to raise funds. Next we have paying mortgages. A mortgage loan is used by either purchasers of real property to raise funds to buy real estate or alternatively by existing property owners to raise funds for any purpose while putting a loan, a lien while putting a lien on the property being mortgaged. Do you want me to go over it again? Uh, I think it's good. I think we can cut it. Okay. The next branch we will cover is taxes. A tax is a mandatory financial charge of some other type of levy imposed by a taxpayer by a government organization in order to fund various other public expenditures. A failure to pay is invasion of taxation is punishable by a law. There are three types of tax one usually deals with in their lifetimes. They are income tax, sales tax, and property tax. Income tax is a percentage of an individual or corporate earnings filed to the federal government. Next is sales tax. Tax is levied on certain goods and services. Finally is property tax based on the value of land and property assets. Inflation is another important concept to understand. Inflation is a sustained increase in the general price level of goods and services in the economy over a period of time. In demand pull inflation, inflation is caused by an increase in demand, too much money chasing too few goods. In cost push inflation, it is caused by corporations' production costs rising, meaning that they must raise their prices to maintain their profit margin. Having a retirement plan is very important considering the current rocky situation in our country's social security system. The typical retirement age is 65 but is rising due to depleting funds. You should start saving for retirement as soon as possible so you can end working ASAP and so you aren't depending on social security. In conclusion, it is extremely important for young people to be competent in all areas of financial literacy.